Okay, this will be my uh, third try uh, at this video. Hopefully we'll get it this time. Um, we're going to work problem 19 from the module uh, chapter 4 homework. And it's, we're going to use the binomial calculator function in StatCrunch. So here's the screen capture of the picture with all the parts solved. 56% um, of U.S. adults have very little confidence in newspapers. You randomly select 10 U.S. adults. Find the probability that the number of adults who have very little confidence in newspapers is exactly five, at least six, and less than four. And for questions A, B, and C, they've set it up where they, uh, I'm going to show you a different way to run. These are, these are what, I, what I refer to as probability statements. This one, we can see clearly the probability that X is greater than or equal to six, which is at least. Um, the next one probability of X is less than four. Well, there's less than four. Uh, a lot of times people have trouble with the idea of at least because they want to make it lower when actually at least says it can be this high or higher, but no less. So um, sometimes the, the vocabulary there gives you a little trouble. And the other part I don't really like the way they did is the probability, this is the same as saying the probability of X equals five, and that's the way I'm going to write this. I always recommend people start these problems by identifying N, P, and Q. These will be the same for all parts of this question. So N equals 10. We got that from you randomly select 10 U.S. adults. P equals 0 0.56, which comes from the 56% of U.S. adults who have very little confidence in newspapers. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and find Q, even though I don't have to have it to use the binomial calculator. But we got to remember that on binomial probability, P and Q are complementary. One is success, one is failure. Um, remember, success and failure means different things when we're doing uh, binomial statistical analysis. Um, but we find this by taking 1 minus P. Well, 1 minus 0 0.56 is 0 0.44. If I were to add 0 0.44 to 0 0.56, they would equal 1. So we have to see that complementary relationship. So again, we don't need Q, but let's go ahead and write the probability statement for part two. Uh, they have as P is uh, five. Well, I'm going to write it this way right here. I think it's better re represented P X equals five. So this is like the, uh, the other ones we'll keep like the probability statements that are already there. So how do we get to the binomial calculator? We go into StatCrunch and here's the screen capture. Calculator's binomial. It's right there. So when I click on that, it's going to open the binomial calculator, and we'll have to enter NAN, P, and the probability statement in the appropriate fields as shown in the next screen ca capture. All prob Actually, there's three screen captures here. All probabilities have been rounded to the hundredths place as called for in the problem. So the first one is probability of X equals 5. So I entered the N here. The P equals 0 0.56 here. X, I change the sign here, equals 5, 0 0.2288, and that's going to round to 0 0.229. Now, your numbers are going to be slightly different than your questions. So, part 2, at least 6, is the probability of X greater than or equal to 6. That's all I have to change. Notice the N and the P stay the same. I don't have to do anything. I just come down here. I change this sign to the greater than or equal sign. I change this to 6, 0 0.530, rounded to the hundredth place, and I have part B. Now, and why don't I, just while we're in here, do, maybe I should label these. So if you need to go back and look at this, it'll make a little more sense. Um, And here is C down here. Whoops. I didn't realize that was going to happen. Okay. A, B, and C. All right. So, uh, and then for this last one, C is less than 4, probability of X less than 4, and that's going to round to a 0 0.91. So I've actually pulled the problem up. So let's see what this looks like where we're actually using StatCrunch. Um, let's see. Uh, there is my question right here. Now, notice we don't have a little button to open StatCrunch, but over here we have the que question help button. And when I click that question help button, it's going to give me the choice of StatCrunch. 
And I'm gonna pull me out of the way. All right, now, stat, calculator, binomial. The first one, we don't have to change n, the default is 10, and we know our n is 10, we calculated, and our p was 0.56, and the probability of equal to, that's the bottom one here, five, and it computes, I didn't even have to click compute, it's already there, and you notice that rounds to 0 0.229, which is that answer. Now, all I gotta do for the next part is change this sign to greater than or equal to, Change this to six, compute, and there I have the 0 0.530 rounded to the, it's not the hundredths place, it's the thousandth place. I will go back and change that in my, I, we're changing it to three places, which is the thousandth, not the hundredth place. So that's an error that I will fix before I upload the handouts. And then the last one is less than four. I'm gonna click compute and 0 0.091 and there is that answer there. So um, like I said, I'm gonna go back and edit the, uh, to represent that we're rounding to the thousandth place, not the hundredth place. Um, and I will fix that on the handouts, get those uploaded to Brightspace. I hope you'll find this helps. Now, these two calculators is really all you need to do everything you're gonna be doing both in this homework assignment and this test. So good luck with it. I think you'll find this section a little bit more straightforward than some of what you have had to do up till now. Uh, good luck and I hope it helps.